Hey, pal. How you feeling? Ready to fight. Same. Finally at the big climax. This is really it. Lots of luck. Let's get with the others. Yo! Am I late? Just in time. Right. Welcome, guys. Okay, that's everyone. All seven members of our guild. Very good. If you'd all be so kind as to keep still within this area I'm about to cast on, I'll be transporting your group to the starting point of the event. Thank you. The event should be kicking off soon. Let's be on our way. Here we are. This will be the starting point for your guild until the event begins. Do any of you have any other questions? I think we're good. Thanks very much. You're welcome, and good luck to you all. Phew. We finally made it. I'm still getting over it. Get over it quick, because any second now we could have to spring into action. Aye, verily. This knight is fully prepared to face any challenge that comes our way. Whatever it is, we can handle it. Just stay on guard. At long last, the campaign of champions nears its fateful end. Four guilds, comprised of the most outstanding warriors in all of the terrain of magical expertise, have arrived in the sacred realm of the Net Kings, high above the land below. Their greatest challenge lies just ahead, and they must take their first steps into a new threshold. Your path to victory is laid out before you as the conclave of courage begins. Sounds! The fabled narrator, perhaps the highest authority of all great ones above the terrain, for whatever they say, goes. Then I'd say that, plus the roaring applause, means we should get ourselves moving. Let's head up those stairs. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the final stream of the Terrain of Magical Expertise special event, the Campaign of Champions. I'm your host, Forever, back one last time as we cover the long-awaited Conclave of Courage, which will decide the winners of the big $20,000 prize. Our four competing guilds are the Castro Dreams, the Dandy Alliance Plus, the Troublemakers, and the end all be all. Even now, the competitors are making their way through the opening trial of the conclave on the path leading to their first opponent. One that all four guilds will need to prove their worth to before they can progress to the tournament bracket. That's right, a loss this early will result in complete elimination from the event. But I firmly believe they can make it. So. Be sure to cheer them on with everything you've got! Your first battle lies just ahead. For each victory you achieve, you and your guild shall be fully healed, and you'll be rewarded a small allowance of netty, which you can spend on any items you may need from the merchant. If you manage to complete a Net King's trial, you'll encounter a save point before facing off against your fellow champions of the other regions. But be warned, these are save points of no return. So think carefully about it if you decide to use them or not. So 
of you came all the way up here, huh? Bet you weren't expecting to see me, were ya? Here's what the tournament bracket's going to look like. I guess you better be off. I'd wish you good luck, but it's not like you'd need it or anything. Welcome, brave warriors, to the sacred realm of the Net Kings. Oh, Chief Betopio, tis an honor. This is the place we call the heavens of magical expertise. Our home, if you will. Ha. Uh. From the clouds above the terrain, our leader, Webmaster, presides and oversees the actions of we four Net Kings in our rule of the regions below. You should consider it a great privilege that you may set foot here. However, by the simple act of reaching these heavens, you have earned that privilege. The ascension through the clouds was, in fact, the first trial of the Conclave of Courage, representing the initiative you've taken to begin your journey. But the trial is not yet done. That's right, you must face I, Chief Bitopio of the Adotus Woods in combat! Ha ha! Choose your fighters! You heard the man. Who's in? Me! I'm in. Let's stomp this shroom. Let's take him out quick and get to the tourney bracket. Let the battle begin! Four warriors against a single Net King? Well, I have the strength to take on 100 warriors!
fear me as I open the box of pure pain onto you all. Not reach the end of this stage just yet. You have passed the trial with flying colors, but this is only the first step of your journey through Highlight Heavens. Now that I have been bested in combat, I feel as though I should be honest about a tremendous mistake I have made. The return of the Shadow Beast Catchet. It was I who was to blame. If I had kept a more watchful eye on my precious Edotis Woods, the relics containing his essence could have been found faster, and perhaps I could have found a better way of purifying them. Were it not for the swift efforts of the Troublemakers and the valiant denizens of Versicolor Village, Kajit's return would have been even more catastrophic. I hope you can forgive me. The only thing I can offer at this time is my blessing to move on to the next tier of the Sacred Heavens, and my best wishes to you in your efforts to win the Campaign of Champions. Fare thee well. The Net the King, King of the, of the woods, woods was toppled, was toppled and, and all four guilds had overcome, overcome the first, the first trial. trial. The path ahead opened. <sighs> All right. Good start. How's everyone feeling? Relieved. I am right! Feeling awesome! Let's keep this up, then. Move it, people! of the Net King Trials is all finished, and the first round of the tournament bracket can finally begin! We'll be simultaneously showcasing the first two matches, which will consist of the Cast of Dreams versus the Dandy Alliance. Greetings, Traveler! Interested in any of my way? Ah, looking to sell. Anywhere. Yes, I can use this. Yes, I, yes, I, yes, I can use this. Yes, I can use this. Yes, I, yes, I, yes, I can use this. Yes, I can use this. Lovely! Oh, ah, you wish to purchase this?
A fine choice. Thank you. A fine choice. Thank you. A fine choice. Thank you. Lovely. I'll be seeing you again. It would seem that none of our upcoming opponents fell to the might of Chief Batopio. And if memory serves, that would mean our recurring rivals should be appearing any moment. Guess so. Would have been nice if they got knocked out so we'd skip right to the next trial, but also a little anticlimactic. You know, back when I was beta testing, I had some communication with the staff members that the Net Kings were each based on. It's pretty funny to see how much each of these characters are like them. I'm guessing the guy Chief Petopio is based on is pretty eccentric, then. They're all a little eccentric. They're artists. But yeah, a wacky mushroom lord is about right for this guy. It's really cool that you got to meet them, though. Back on track, any particular way you want to handle the fight with the cast, Steph? I want to wait and see if they've got a certain team plan to go against us first. So I'll let them make the first move. Probably a good idea. I don't know these guys as well as you do, but if they've got ten different people to choose from, I'm sure you'll pick the right ones among us to match them toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Here they come now! Well, here we are, my friends. Hey, everybody! N nice to see you all again. Yes, yes, very nice. And the sarcasm shots start flying! We don't want to waste too much of the audience's time, so why don't we hop right into it, huh? You're on! Yeah. Let's finally settle this, chums. Apologies, fellow warriors, but the Alliance must progress from here! So confident. How admirable. Let's not waste the audience's time with any showboating either. We're here to win, remember? So right of you. Then let's go ahead and do that. You ready, Alliance? We are. This may get ugly, Steph. Sure we got the right combo? Start the battle. It's your funeral. You know what to do. Of course. Thus, two guilds ascended the ranks, while two fell. Wow, I did not see that coming. We're even stronger than we thought. Guess we should head off then. Um, uh, good match, everybody. Have fun down in the loser bracket. Hey, don't do that. You better not let this be the end, you hear me? But all was not lost. For those who fell were led down another path, one of redemption. The second trial 
lies ahead. Uh, it's okay. We can work with this. Yeah, not the end of the world. Everything's fine. We can bounce back from this. We've got another chance. Let's go. Uh, quite right, Lady Tiger Lily. Uh, our journey through the Net King's realm has only just begun. Rally, fellow knights, to the Telepillar! Wow. Can I just say, wow. Already the Conclave of Courage is off to a shocking start. The unbelievably fast outcome of these two battles has determined that the Cast-O Dreams and the End-All Be-All will move on to the second round, while the Dandy Alliance Plus and the Troublemakers are being sent down the Redemption Bracket. But before that, it's time for all four guilds to face another Net King's Trial! again. It's all over. So you better not, or I'll never forgive you. Looks kind of like Chris Barrel Kingdom. Yep, that pretty much spells it out. Guess we'll be seeing each of the Net Kings in the same order as the four regional events. Makes sense. I got a funny feeling I know what the trial itself is going to be. <laughs> it's me, Yaquisto! Hope you didn't forget about me. This time, I only got five questions for you, but you gotta answer all of them correctly, or it's curtains for your guilt! Oh, can't screw this one up. Let's work together on these. Oh, jeez. Uh, okay, what do we got? Question one. How many statues of the Shadow Beast did you need to present to Chief Vitopio? Easy, we needed at least three. Most definitely. Ah, oh, we worked night and day to obtain those precious relics. Three. Correct. Question two. What were the ten different kind of gemstones needed to attend the Grand Glistening Bow? Let's see. Uh, ruby, sapphire, emerald, beryl, amethyst. Uh, what else? What else? Garnet, certainly. And diamond. Uh, pearl. Pearl and, uh, cat's eye. I remember that. But what was that first one again? Zircon. Okay, so garnet, amethyst, pearl, diamond, ruby, sapphire, emerald, beryl, zircon, and cat's eye. Correct. Question three. How much netty did you need to get into Bincho's quest conference? Trick question. We needed a million Bincho bucks. Netty was outlawed at the time. A trick equally as deceiving as Bincho himself. Zero. Correct. Question four. What was the pattern on the urn holding Empress kind of spirit's remains? Silvertop. A hundred percent on that. Silvertop. Yeah, can't forget that part. Then there's the coconut symbols and the sound wave. And it was purple. All qualities of the Empress of which the remains are contained, yes. Purple with coconuts and a sound wave on it. Uh, with a silver top. Correct! Now, 
Time for the final question. It's a whittle. Oh, good, a whittle. Shh, let him say the whittle. The less of me you have, the more I am worth. What am I? Oh, no. Curses! If we cannot resolve this rampant riddle, the Alliance will be eliminated. No, no, don't panic. We can figure this out. Okay, uh, uh, is it money? Is it like one of those, we know you want the prize, but to get it, you have to appreciate it kind of deals? Too obvious. Uh, maybe it's something to do with the lore? The other questions were about stuff we needed to get into the four vents. Think, comrades. What was it we obtained that granted us entry to the heavens? Uh, this is too hard. Can I phone a friend? That's the answer. Wait, phones? Oh. Uh... Friends. Correct! You got all five white! Which means... Which means you passed the trial. Congratulations, my little diamonds in the rough. Much like the masterful markings of a gemstone's cut, the finite details can make the difference between a fake and the real deal. This trial was not simply a memory game, but rather a test of your dedication to the journey you've taken to arrive here. And at its core, dedication is truly about passion, about love. So now, before I allow you to pass to your next challenge, you must face the brilliant Queen Ruler Ruby of Morganite Valley in battle. But this time, without any nasty demons of glass to interrupt our dangerous dance. <laughs> Great job, guys. Now, who's got their ballroom shoes on? I'll have the first dance. Me! Er, I don't have ballroom shoes, but you get it. Twould be an honor. I can't dance for crap, but I'll fight. Step on the floor. Let's get this party started. A queen is nothing without her subjects. And more to the point, I am nothing without my entourage. <laughs> The future is not yet written. Let us pen a new chapter.
Next question. This is the third Net King's trial of the Conclave. True or false? Correct. You're on a wall. Quite well in proving your strength, but don't let that strength be your own undoing. What a party, but the fun's over. A truly outstanding leader, even a queen like myself, should always be strong. But as of late, I'm sad to say I haven't been. It was because of my weakness that allowed the monstrous silicarnage to overtake me. Yes, my vanity and pride were that which had led me to drop my guard so the demon of glass could attack. But as I said, a queen is nothing without her subjects, and I would have been reduced to nothing were it not for the valiant efforts of Tome's visiting warriors. Even with the greater evil looming on the horizon, I take solace in knowing my shortcomings will be made up for by the people of our fair land. I want to believe my fellow Net Kings share the same confidence in you. Press Onward, the Conclave has only just begun. Shine brilliantly to victory, like a diamond in the rough. The Net King of the Valley was topped, and all four guilds had overcome the second trial. With her words in their minds, they pressed onward. Wise words coming from a cutscene. I see what you mean. You're as strong as always. A truly outstanding leader is most becoming of ye Guildmaster. Thanks. Let's keep going.
With that, all guilds have completed their second Net King trial and will move on through the tournament bracket. Down in the Redemption Path, the Dandy Alliance Plus and the Troublemakers will be duking it out for a chance to climb back up the ranks while the Casto Dreams and the End All Be All will decide who moves closer to the top. But no matter what happens, this is where one of the four guilds will be saying goodbye. Huh. They're still not here yet. Well, considering they've only got three members, they probably took a little longer to finish the quiz game and fighting against the Queen. I'm sure they're just taking their time getting properly equipped and all that. They can take all the time they need, but we're still gonna mop the floor with them. This is their last chance to prove themselves, in more ways than one. By the way, as much as it caught me off balance a little, that quiz game thing was pretty fun, since all of us got to find the answers together. Yes, indeed! The rush of excitement when faced with a heart-pounding trial and reflecting <laughs> upon our previous adventures with which to search for the correct knowledge. Oh, it makes this night's heart sing. Yeah, even with how big a deal this is, it's nice to still have that feeling of, hey, we're playing a game and having a good time, you know? I don't ever want to lose that. Sam, I hope everyone can still feel that way. Even them. I like those three. I believe in them. Don't forget. If we lose again a single time from here on out, it's all over. I... I haven't forgotten. Hey! It's the... It's you guys! This is awesome! Sorry, what's your real team name again? Do do de do do do. <laughs> I think it was the Dandy Alliance, Rock. Well, not quite anymore. And no, it's not the Doo Doo Alliance either. <laughs> she said it. We're the Dandy Alliance Plus now. You've probably noticed we've grown a bit. Hey. Hey, relatable. We've gone through a change too. Though ours is more of a team culture thing. We were feeling pretty good when we first got here, because the Mushroom Man gave us a really nice compliment. But then we got blown up by that Zeto guy. Uh, that part wasn't as nice. And he was kind of a... You can say it. He... He... Jerk. I can't believe I'm saying this, but you know what? I'm actually kind of glad to see you guys here. Ah, uh, you really mean it, Marshmallow Man? Yeah, but, but I gotta ask... Why do you guys call me that? You know, I just never knew how to pronounce that name. Kerbopper? Kerbopper? Gopher? It's Kerbopher. Ah. Can I call you Buffy? Please don't. We worked on some moves I think you'll really like. Uh, at least I hope so. I like your new attitudes, boys. But we've got a date with Destiny at the top of that tournament bracket and we can't get eliminated here, so get ready to say goodbye. Time to show him who's boss! I've been waiting for this. Fine. Alright then. So the lines are drawn! I'm fired up, dog! Generic pre-battle banter dialogue! Wow.
Now it's time for the real show. Meet the Troublemakers 2.0. worked super hard on this one.
the victors ascended, while the defeated fell ever deeper, and one such guild was dropped from the heavens. For them, the journey had concluded. Yeah, thanks, Edwin, really. Rubbing it in there, bud. Who? <sighs> Guess that's it. Sorry for letting y'all down again. You kidding? This was really cool getting to do all this. For real! We won't forget this, dog. Ah, you guys. And you know what? Hats off to you, Dandy Alliance. I'm really glad we met, and hope you go all the way. Though not literally hats off, I think mine's stuck like this. It's been a, uh, interesting ride, boys. But I'm glad that the last stop was something pleasant. I mean that. Hear, hear. This knight no longer considers thee to be a trio of troublesome villains, but rather a mere merry band of misfits. Our plucky adversarial comic relievers. Um... Th this young squire is honored, Sir Nylock of the Kindest Grace. And it's just really nice to not feel like the bad guys anymore. No, no, you really turned things around. I'm actually proud of you all. Now you just gotta make sure you keep this up. It's all good, yo. But y'all better watch out, because next time we're going over. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Can you say re 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 match? Oh, is that so? Maybe we ought to shake on it then. You know what? I like that idea. Bubba? Here, pretend I'm shaking your hand. Uh, sure, man. I guess this is happening. Shake, shake. Shake, shake. The next time we meet, it'll just be as regular old players. I'd be happy to have that rematch with you punks. And don't expect Buffy to take it any easier on you. That's it. I take it all back. I is it too late to get Raccoon banned? Whoops, time to go. <laughs> Quick outro, guys. One, two, three. Bye-bye. Mm, See you downstairs. Give them heck. I think I like them. How do you feel about everything? I feel like my pessimistic side is screaming at me, but my emotional side is saying they weren't just playing us to get by on good behavior. I want to believe this was worth it. I agree. I think they were serious. If it means anything, I think, uh, maybe the team attacks are like a signification that they've left their old ways behind and they're turning over a new leaf. Didn't seem like they pulled anything sneaky to me. Oh, well that's a good sign then. Yeah, and, uh... Ahem, we should go. Uh, alright! Uh, good job everyone! We're one step closer. Well, folks, three out of the four competing guilds will now be progressing on to the third Net King trial. And while the Casto Dreams will have another chance to bounce back from losing to the end-all be-all, sadly, this is where we all have to say goodbye to the Troublemakers, as their loss against the Dandy Alliance Plus means their elimination from the Conclave of Courage. Give them a big round of applause for making it this far! Got a long road ahead. I, I believe in you. A road. Looks like I might have been right after all. 
So, you've managed to overcome two Net King trials already. That's quite impressive, not to mention very fitting of my own trial. There were many warriors across the terrain who sought to make it up here. Hundreds, maybe even thousands failed. Sure, anyone can have a dream, but <laughs> it's following through with it that makes a dream come true. It's an underestimated part of the journey on the way to being a winner, for certain. That's what this is all about, perseverance. Your drive to be a winner, so to speak. So, equally fitting, I figure what better way to exemplify your drive than to drive. <laughs> hey, I remember that guy. The one with the cool motorcycle. He gets. The mysterious cloaked figure is in league with Net King Exec. Nonetheless, it would seem thou were correct in thy assumption, Sir Kabafa. You might be familiar with my associate, Ute. He'll be assisting me in the trial here. That's right, a racing battle with yours truly. Wait, how are we going to do this? Do we even have a car? Oh, and don't worry, I took the liberty of procuring you a vehicle for the competition. Oh, is that my baby? It's the F1 hour. What are you waiting for? Hop in. Let's get this thing going. So how is this going to work? Can only a few of us fit? I don't know. I've only ever raced with two other people. Screw it. Let's just all get in. Come on. Chop, chop. We've only got one shot at this. Let's hit that finish line. Start your engines. Ready? Three, two, one. One, go! Gear shift! Gear shift! Duck! Turn! <laughs> well done. You know, I've been keeping my eye on all the visiting warriors within Tome for a very long time. Glad to see my confidence wasn't for nothing. When Bincho sought to overthrow me from my position, while I could have easily escaped his capture, I thought it'd be an interesting opportunity to test the city's resolve. So, using Ute as my eyes and ears, I continued to keep watch, hoping that some clever heroes would rise to the challenge. I was astounded at how well everybody adapted to such a desperate situation, and even more so at how many had banded together to come to my rescue. Everything's worked out really well. At least, so far. But, as I'm sure you know, the journey's not quite over. As you move onward and upward, you'll have to face an even more desperate situation than ever. But, uh, if I'm right, and I have been before, I think you'll do just fine. I'd wish you good luck, but, uh, meh, you don't need it. See ya. The Net King of the City was topped. The remaining three guilds had overcome the third trial. They carried on, ready to face anything that awaited them next. Farewell, F1 Hour. We'll ride another day. Exec seems pretty cool. 
Kind of wonder what his guy is like in real life. Did you meet him too? Yeah, he's... he's cool. Cheer up! We won! Indeedly so! Our fated rematch with the Casto Dreams looms overhead. Let us be on our way. Our three competing guilds have crossed the finish line of the third Net King trial. Now, the redemption path of the tournament bracket is in its final stretch. The Dandy Alliance Plus have worked their way back up to the high stakes rematch. Great. With the ah, Casto you wish Dreams. to purchase the. The winners of this battle will move on to the final I'll be trial, seeing you again. And the losers will be dropped from the conclave. In the meantime, the end all be all gets to enjoy himself a short break. But don't you go anywhere, my lovely viewers. Looks like we're early again, but I'm sure they'll be here any second now. I wasn't surprised they won that racing battle, too. Speaking of, you know if the Net Kings are all based on and voiced by the creators of the game, it would have been kind of neat if they were acted out in real time by the staffers themselves. Yeah, for a second when Batopio first showed up, I almost thought it was the real guy. But that probably would have been a little too complicated, what with needing them to be in four places at once. If anything, it's nice they recorded a bunch of new stuff just for this. Plus, they might not be as improv-savvy as Nylock and his friends, huh? No, oh, thou flatters this night, Lady Gamesoft. The glorious Net Kings have their own brand of showmanship that even I... Nylock, Dragon, Dragon of Conveying Conveil Righteously Conveil Respectful, respectful kudos. kudos! Cannot help but be in utter awe of. I don't mean to piss all over the magical moment here, but we can't let the cast of dreams pull that last stunt again, or it's over. Y yeah Fair enough. Are you doing alright? You've been really quiet since the first fight with these guys. I'm fine. I'm just focusing. Everyone else should do the same. We are. I don't blame you for being worried, but I've got a plan. Don't start having any doubt. I, I'm not. I'm not worried. We'll beat them this time. I know it. Glad to see you guys made it back up here. Sorry we couldn't make this the final match of the bracket. Would have been cool to go out on a high note. Yeah, to be honest, that Zeto guy wasn't very nice. Wasn't a very interesting match either. Not to mention, what a drama queen! Actually, the last two of our battles have ended far too quickly, if you ask me. Nobody a- uh, uh, Well, one of you did say we're here to win, right? I say we give our friends here an encore and leave them in the dust. I see what you did there. And I agree. Can we? Pretty please. Hmm. They're actually right. You repeat what you did before, you'll probably win. But that's not really your style, is it? Especially after the loss against Seto. You probably want to give the audience a better show, right? What? Who cares about the audience? You do! You said earlier you didn't want to waste their time, remember? I was being sarcastic! Dude, look. I know you're not all that keen on us, because we're competition, but a bunch of these guys are old friends. Maybe take that into consideration? This knight acknowledges the cast as talented performers of their own flavor, and greatly desires to be treated to an unforgettable show on such a glorious stage such as this. Same here. I don't even care if I get to fight or not, I just want to see it. So what'll it be, huh? You guys gonna throw down for real or what? Oh my god. They're clearly trying to bait you. We've got a winning strategy here. Let's trounce them and make a comeback against Zeto in the final. Snowy, hun, back me up here. What do you want to do? Uh, I... <clears throat> the choice is yours now. Whatever you may decide, we believe in you. I to that. Count us in all the way, lass. Stomp their faces in! In whatever way you want to do it. <laughs> Don't delay, ladies. Please, do what you want to do with these fools. We got your back with whatever's attack you want to whack this pack with. So go, go, go for it, yo! Guys... Thanks, everybody. I've decided. I want to fight with the cast's four founding members. Bring it in, people. Oh, baby! I've been waiting all day for this! 
Splendid! This will be a rematch for the ages, old chums! We've got our team! How about you guys? I can't miss this one! Payback time for real this time. Oh, you know full well I couldn't possibly pass this up. I believe you got your answer. <sighs> no changing your minds. Not this time. Sorry. If you lose, we all lose. If it happens, it happens. This is the way I want to do it. We've reached the climax, folks. But let's not let this be the final act. Ready? Hey, uh, whichever way this turns out in the end, I hope we'll still all be friends.
another guild fell in battle, while the victors had finally redeemed themselves. The divide within the clouds widened as light shone down upon the connected path. Cool, listen to that crowd cheer. Yeah, congratulations. You earned yourself a massive applause and a complete loss. Yep. That's all you have to say for yourself? If you had just stuck to the plan, we could have beaten them. Strange. I can't speak for everybody else, but I don't feel too bad about it. What are you talking about? Wasn't this whole thing about reaching the end? Do you not feel even just the slightest bit of remorse that everything we've worked for up to this point was for nothing? No. Why would I feel remorse for having one of the best months of my life, being surrounded by mostly a bunch of people I would choose to spend my free time with anyway, on a game that I love? Sure, would have been nice to make it to the very top, but if this is where the journey ends, I got nothing to complain about. I'm only bummed we probably can't have our big party now. Big party? That was what we were striving for. If we won the prize money, we were all gonna fly out somewhere to celebrate with each other in person. Well, once the quarantine was over anyway. Hey, 2,000 bucks split between 10 people ain't so bad. Maybe we can still make it happen after all. I'll even pitch in. Oh, can we? I'd love that. Then everything really would be worth it. Well, if it happens, consider yourselves invited. This was a great match, so you're all welcome to join. Oh, count me in! Right back at ya! This fight was totally worth it. Hear, hear! Thou were indeed the worthiest of opponents, and this clash was undoubtedly a dream battle to remember! Steph, whatever it is you want that prize money for, just make sure that spiky-headed freak doesn't nab it instead. Far as I'm concerned, this is all down to you guys now, so get up there and sock him in the face once for me. Deal. And... see you around? You bet. Bye, everyone. Good luck out there. You're gonna need it. <laughs> and then some. <sighs> Wait up! With that, the Casto Dreams makes their grand exit after an incredible display of showmanship in the tournament bracket's penultimate fight. We're already getting so close to the end, folks. Our two remaining guilds, the Dandy Alliance Plus and the End All Be All, must next face the fourth and final Net King Trial, followed by a legendary meeting with the godly Webmaster before the final match of the Conclave of Courage. Can they both make it to the Highlight Heaven's highest point? Stay tuned. now because your rival managed to get ahead of you so you'll have to overcome the trial of the last neck king and then face the godly webmaster but you can do it i know you can You've traveled so far, and you're so very close to your final destination. I think I speak for all four of us when I say that we, the Mighty Net Kings, are impressed beyond all imagination by each of your valiant efforts. But before you can reach the highest point of our sacred realm, you have one last trial to fulfill. 
And speaking of fulfillment, that is, in fact, what the trial of yours truly is all about. Attainment. Finishing what you started. With the initiative to get you going, the dedication to stick with it, and the perseverance to follow through with it, you arrive at your ultimate goal and must now prove yourselves worthy of achieving it. With all the knowledge, strength, and courage you've kept in your hearts the entire way. And perhaps it's no surprise to you, but I firmly believe the best way to prove to us, to yourselves, to all of the people rooting for you, that you're ready to take the final stage and seize victory is by way of a musical number! <laughs> oh lord, it's one of these! A rhythm battle. I thought so. We've got this, don't worry. Okay, Nye, Hattie, and Softy, you're with me. Oh, okay. Gotcha, I'm ready. We managed to beat her at this minigame last time, and we'll do it again right here. Right away, Guildmaster. This knight is ready to shake my moneymaker yet again, for I am... Nylock, Dragon of Performing Perfectly Eccentric Encores Excellently. Break a leg out there, people. I'll be cheering you on with backing vocals. We're one step away, come on. I'm so excited to see your resolve come to life in the form of song and dance. Let the last Net King trial commence. It's showtime! A one, a two, a one, two, three, four. Back in the day. Magnificent! You've instilled such hope in me again, despite these trying times. So much chaos has been spread across the terrain of magical expertise as of late. Some things beyond even our control, and yet, I feel as though even the worst of those occurrences were simply omens for something far worse. 
The problems that transpired on my island paradise, not the least of which was the curse of Mount Mulberry's eventual eruption, they were my crosses to bear, byproducts of the negativity that once dwelled in my heart from times long past. But even with that in mind, these many chaotic incidents transpired because of one thing they all shared in common. Someone from the shadows manipulated the events to happen. Or perhaps it was not from the shadows, but rather through the beams of light that shine from on high? Regardless, you have proven yourselves worthy of an audience with our Lord, the Grand Overseer of Tome. Your attainment of triumphancy is just within reach. The Nep King of the Island was top top. The last of the four trials had been completed. The final stage, where the truth awaits, lie just ahead. Almost there. This is it, everybody! With all four Net King trials completed, our two remaining guilds, the Dandy Alliance Plus and the End All Be All, only have one remaining obstacle to overcome before the tournament bracket for the Conclave of Courage pits them against one another in the final battle! A showdown with Tome's highest authority, the Godly Webmaster! They'll each be making their final preparations in the next area, and after that, it's the beginning of the end, folks. Strap yourself in for the heart-pounding conclusion, and I'll be seeing you all very soon. I need to go and make some final preparations myself. <laughs> After a long, action-packed, fun-filled, emotionally charged, eye-opening adventure that felt like an entire lifetime, our heroes finally reached their ultimate destination. But will their skill and prowess allow them to achieve their goal they fought so hard for? Only time will tell. Ooh, very nice, Sir Alpha. Though this knight feels mildly guilty, as if we were stealing the mysterious narrator's thunder. Nah, you do you guys. Let's take a quick breather, get one last look at our equipment and everything, and then we'll head on up. I, I know Alpha was kind of talking about this already, but I gotta say, despite how serious our whole situation is, this has still been fun. Like, really fun. Nice little intro just now was pretty accurate, I'd say. No, thank you, Sir Kabafa. Every day this night is surrounded by each of thee. It feels like a new, exciting chapter in the never-ending quest of life. Truly. If we win this thing, maybe we ought to make like the cast of dreams and throw our own party. We'd have plenty left to spare. I bet we could. Or as long as that's okay with you, Steph. Are you kidding? I'm all for celebrating when this is over. Are you kidding? What? We haven't even gotten past Webmaster, which, by the way, will probably be close to, if not just as hard as the fight with Zeto, let alone facing him, which may still be next to impossible, and you're joking around like you've already won? Oh, whoa, what's gotten into you? This isn't just focusing, you've been acting weird almost the entire time. This can't just be because we lost in that first round, is it? I'm pissed off because we're... <laughs> The, the, the brackets turned out in a way that totally screws us because he's gotten to be all the way up at the top stage exactly where he wants to be. This is all going to come down to whether or not we can tilt him from his stupid I'm untouchable attitude and he's already going in with all the advantages he could ever ask for and it sucks. Lady Tiger Lily, calm thyself. The pressures of the Conclave of Courage are invading thy mind, body, and spirit. Do not let such hazy visions of dark futures blind thee. Think of how far the Alliance has come in our time within the Sacred Realm! I just want you guys to take this seriously! You all get that, don't you? How important this is? I'm so sorry. We're not making you regret all this, are we? No, it's not like that. This... this isn't any of your faults. Then, with all due respect, would you rather us be constantly stressed and freaking out about this the whole way? Of course we remember how big a deal this is. I know that, I just... Ugh, this is the worst! 
He's probably laughing his bloated head off as we speak. Hey, pull it together. Wow, uh, dude. You're letting him win before we even step into the ring because you're acting obsessed. And for what even? If he's such a piece of crap, why would spend all this energy on him? I wish I could get you guys to fully understand just how much I've done to try and ensure we win this. But you're gonna have to take my word for it when I say, I want this more than anything. I understand that part plenty, believe me. But think about this another way. Think about it. Isn't this kind of what you were expecting already? For him to be waiting at the very top for us to push him off? I... I don't think I know anymore. I didn't expect to feel like this right before the end. I can't describe it. You were the one who told me before. We stick to our guns and keep our cool so we can make him lose his perfect focus. If any of us falter, it's over. This is gonna sound silly, but they may all just be a bunch of pre-recorded cutscenes we're experiencing, but there's a lot of truth to what the Net King said on the way up here. Perhaps at first glance, tis the interactions with our other former enemies leading up to the final showdown that maketh thee uneasy. However, the four excellent qualities that the Net Kings have each commended us for are in fact what brought us to this place to begin with. That's the corniest thing ever. And also true. But you made a good point earlier, too. If that pleb takes himself so seriously to the point of being such a miserable person, and as far as I'm concerned, we're already teaching him a little lesson in humility by just having a good time. We've made it this far after everything. No matter what the hell he tries to pull, no matter how many advantages he may or may not have, no matter how many odds are stacked against us, we're coming out on top in the end. Come on, pal, we've got this! <laughs> you shouldn't have to tell me this. I'm sorry I made you have to, but that's why you're our leader. You know it. <sighs> Sorry things got a little heated there. Hope I didn't go too far. You're fine, dude. You just returned the favor and helped me get out of a funk this time, when I really needed it. Stupendous! Once again, the Dandy Alliance Plus proves itself unbreakable! Now that we've rediscovered the power of love, what is our plan against both Tome's hardest boss and Tome's biggest egomaniac? When it comes to Webmaster, we'll basically be going in blind. I imagine it'll probably just be a really, really hard standard battle. No mini games or anything. Yeah, that's probably a fair assessment. So how about after that? I've been giving that a lot of thought over the past few days. And actually, that last conversation made me 100% sure of it now. I've dealt with a lot of bullies in my life. And to no surprise, a handful of them even made their way into a place like Tome. I've always known how to meet them comment for comment, and usually it shuts them up pretty quick. But this is a different case altogether. If we're gonna end the be-all once and for all, we're gonna need to take a different approach. So I've decided, regardless of which of the four of us fight him, when the battle starts, nobody say a word. Like, complete silence? He does like to hear himself talk. He'll probably fill up the whole fight with self-indulgent chatter anyway. I get it. It's not like trying to one-up him at his own game. You're not playing his game to begin with, right? That's not a bad idea at all. To be honest, what you just described has been my entire experience with Zeto. Even... even back when we were friends. But it's exactly why we're not anymore. Well, it's still pretty risky, but it sounds to me like the best route to take. So let's do it. I agree. I think this might really pay off. Awesome. This really could work. This could throw Zeno off balance and maybe his whole facade will come crashing down. In fact, now that I think about it, he really does tend to get pissed off when we don't buy into his trolling. Exactly. That's actually kind of what I was experimenting around with the last couple times we ran into him. And why I was asking you so many questions about the specifics, Tiger. Yeah. Yeah. If we keep our mouths shut and keep smacking him with one attack after another, every little bit of that might help him lose focus. And y'all know what that means. Don't make me fantasize. Then our battle routine is set. We shall fight with full force against the godly webmaster and meet the end-all be-all with stern conviction and pure determination to outclass his willpower tenfold, or I'm not. No!
Blaylock, Dragon of Readily Remaining Solemnly Silent! We're already doing so well. Should we make our last couple preparations? Yeah. When everyone's ready, let's head over to the Telepillar and cap this conclave off. You're the boss. Greetings, traveler. Intr ah, looking to sell? Yes, I yes, I can use this. Yes, I can use yes, I can use this. Yes, I can use this. Lovely. Ah, you wish to purchase this? A fine choice. Thank you. 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 Lovely. What else can I do for you? I'll be seeing you again. before the very end. Mm. I wish I could say how I really feel. But I know this isn't the time nor the place. No, I can't be selfish. I'll just be supportive. You can win this! Go for it! Beyond the last telepillar, awaits the final battle to decide your destiny. Be prepared, for there is no turning back. Oh, godly webmaster! This knight is truly humbled to be within thine presence. Initiative, dedication, perseverance, attainment. It is because of these four steps on your campaign across the four divided parts of the terrain that I have allowed you to set foot onto this sacred place, my champions. There is much to discuss. To begin, I can now finally reveal the truth to you all about what has been transpiring below the heavens. Oh boy, time for plot twists, I bet. The revival of the Shadow Beast in the woods, which Chief Vitopio could not prevent. The ambush of the glass demon that masqueraded as Queen Ruler Ruby in the valley. The treachery of President Exec's underling in the city. And the curse upon Empress Kinder Spirit's remains that infected the volcano of the island. These disasters were each created by me. Bum, bum, bum! Who saw that coming? It was never my full intention to spread harm across Tome. It was only a part of me that did. I am very ill. For you see, this part of me was tainted by a dark force I have never seen in all my years of ruling this legendary place. Be that as it may... There is no excuse for my actions. The other part of me remained untainted and allowed me to fight back against these evil urges by spreading the word of disaster to the many eager visiting warriors from other worlds in hopes to attract them to these occurrences and stop them. 
These two? Uh Uh-oh, this might be even tougher than we thought. My hopes were answered, and so my good and evil sides, that were at odds with each other, managed to select a number of warriors I knew could be trusted with such important information. Though I have fought as hard as I can to resist, I feel as though the darkness will soon be imprisoning me, my entire will seized by wickedness. You cannot allow this to happen, for my illness is only the first sign of a greater evil looming in the distance. Wow, way to tease the inevitable expansions. There is a fifth step to your journey, even beyond attaining your goal, catharsis. The relief of strong repressed emotions, built up after all your hardship, and the same can be said for me. I must be purged of this evil by warriors fit to look after Tome in my eventual absence. The dark and light parts of my very soul, their struggle is too great for me to bear. I must be quelled, yet not by my own hands, but rather yours. Yes, it is time for judgment. But will your verdict be reward for your heroism? or punishment for your inadequacy. Please step forward so that we may find the answers together. This is it. You all ready? Ready. I'm with you, pal. Yeah. Here we go.
you manage to succeed, the outcome may indeed surprise you. It is my sincerest wish that your future, all of your futures, are filled with hope. Behold, the light. Judgment had been passed by the Grand Overseer. The Chosen Ones had become clear. At long last, the Conclave of Courage had reached its peak. But one last challenge remained. One final opponent. Everybody ready? I am. This is it. He's going down. Remember, not a word.
Let's put an end to this. <laughs> Okay, okay, not a bad start. We don't have to blow through this all that fast. These fine people want a good show after all. I'll save the flashy stuff for the end. You guys having fun so far? You're awfully quiet. Come on, this is our big final scene together. Lighten up, be proud, life is good. Listen, when I wrap this all up a little later, don't feel too bad. I know you guys really wanted to win and all, but this is just how the chips fell. It was always gonna be this way. I knew it, you probably knew it too, it's the way it goes. Alright, fine. It's not my problem you don't appreciate this game to the fullest. And hey, you know what? Most people generally don't. But me, I got a big responsibility to keep here. I guess you wouldn't get that. Try and see it from my perspective, though. The entire Tome community, thousands of players around the world, they look to me as a pillar. Upholding that reputation is something I can never give up. Ever.
so. I won't. I can't. This game, this title, this opportunity, this single moment right here means everything to me. It's my whole life. But you people don't understand. There's no way anyone could. This is the only thing I have. It's the only thing that truly makes me happy. You can't take it away from me. I can't let you take it away. That's why I went through all of this, everything I've done for this, for this victory, for this feeling of satisfaction. It was all for this. this out. I'll give you anything you want. Just don't let this be real. Okay? Please. Are you... I... I, I don't... Why? Why? The conclave was concluded and the campaign had been conquered. And so, the champions have been chosen. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Victory! He did it. Thanks, pal. For everything. Today is Wednesday, November 11th. Patty, over here. Good to see ya. Been a while. Looks like it's just you and I again. Steph was right, really does feel like a lifetime ago. Tell me about it. A billion things have happened this year. A lot of really, really good things, huh? Hey, look who's back. And who's this? Figured my plus one would be fitting. Thanks for letting me join. I'm Rolly. Nice to see you again. I'm Offlands. Your sister's talked about you a lot. Great to finally put a name to the face. He has many faces on that computer screen head of his. Are all of the Dandelions going to be here? Hopefully. Plus a few extra friends, I think. Oh, a lot more than just a few. Hey, dude. Uh, how many more? Try like eight. 
Don't tell me we got here before your fearless leader did. <laughs> She's always late. Gets me feeling nostalgic already. Well, I'm simply grateful to be here. Yeah, yeah, we brought the whole extended family in. Hope you got enough imaginary turkey and stuff and for all of us. It's not even Thanksgiving yet. But it's an equally festive time. Everyone be on your best behavior. I promise I'll be real good. Just today, after that, it's back to the usual. So there's no dinner, but on the way over, Curb was telling us there'll be some kind of show? Right you are. I spent a long time on it. So I wanted to have the premiere be really special. That's why I got this. And I helped. Just a little, though. It's mostly Alpha. I'm sure it's going to be great. A show makes me think. With the use of that guitar, perhaps a song, yes? Wicked, man! Is that the plan? I can't wait to see your victorious melody for us. I admit, my lyrical prowess isn't nearly as impressive as your mastery of the English language, but ah, it's serviceable. Wait till you hear this guy sing, though. Don't tease him too much. He's still got people to show up first. Yeah, you're still missing another half of your guild. Where's good old Nylock? I'm sure we'll hear him dashing over Hill and Dale any minute now. For real, guy's louder than me, and that's saying something. Ah! Whoosh! Speak of the dragon. Aha! When any fellow warrior within the terrain of magical expertise calls this knight's name, then I... Nylock! We heard a fellow warrior call your name, followed by you in the process of announcing your own name. So we got here as fast as we could. What's the situation? Nothing to fear, dear comrades. In fact, thou hast arrived in time for some blessed celebratory festivities over the Dandy Alliance's recent triumph in the Campaign of Champions. Ah, yes. However so very convenient you've arrived here in time, by total coincidence. Perhaps it was fate. Without question, it must be. Thank goodness there is no evil afoot on this day. That's where you're wrong, fools! Wow, everyone's showing up. Zones! What villainous acts are the two of ye plotting this time? Oh, hush now, you silly boy. We're not here to cause chaos of any kind. We simply wish to bear witness. Yes, bear witness to the inevitably ear-wrenching sounds of the angel's horrid voice while portraying the simpleton cyborg's horribly constructed musical passages. <laughs> Is it bad that I like these guys? Yes, but bad in, like, a good way. Ha! Little did you evildoers know that I've got the power of being able to take constructive criticism! No! Curse you! We are rendered powerless against such a special ability. Now we must sit here and endure. Oh, good. Because I don't have that power. My lyrics are untouchable, and anyone who doesn't like them is wrong. <laughs> He's only mostly joking. Evil falls yet again, or I am not. Here. What, what? But this knight is right here. Or, oh, is this all just a simulation? Oh god, nobody tell him. Relax. Sorry I'm fashionably late, although I see the party's looking much more filled out than usual. The party like the party party, or like the party, you mean? Yes. Glad we settled that. Misty pal. <laughs> tell us, O oh wise one, whom didst thou invite as thine special guests? Did you forget? I was already Hattie's plus one months ago, you big goof. Psh, wow. Now I feel like I'm waking up from a simulation. What a twist ending! Speaking of twists, I did see a certain batch of folks on the guest list that were right behind me, but I seem to have lost track of them! Hey, hey everyone! Wow, oh, sure are a lot of people here. Oh yeah! Now this party's really getting started! Are you sure it's okay for us to be here? Yeah, we're glad you could make it, boys. It is a pleasure to see the newly reformed troublemakers joining us, unlike some certain other villains who haven't learned from their old ways. Harumph. Oh, harumph yourself. See, Rock? Everything's gonna be fine. Up, up. Not just yet. Nay. Ah, yes. There is, in fact, one last very important matter to resolve. Oh, I knew it. 
that a joke? I, I mean, you can't expect me to just... Ooh, ooh, could you please? J just once. Yeah, man, you gotta throw down. Do it for the squad. All right, all right. Thanks, democracy. <clears throat> we are most appreciative of being invited to this splendiferous uh, chindig, or I am not... Raccoon! Procyon Lutor of pretty profound appreciation! Nya, huh? Nya, ha! Most impressive! Then, with the initiation instilled, this knight hereby dubs the three of ye Sir Archie of the Amaranthian Arrows, Sir Skate, the Radical Roller, and Capitano Raccoon! The explosive expert of entertainment! Wow. Yeah, I'll take it. <laughs> so cool! Okay, that was kind of fun. <laughs> <laughs> Man, Steph is missing out on some real legendary comedy right now. Yeah. Where, oh where, has our flame girl gone? I hear she's had her hands pretty full for the past couple months. Fear not, our many allies of the terrain. The Guildmaster will appear in due time. So saith I. Ahem. <clears throat> so saith I. Finish it! Not until thou joins us. Okay, okay. Ahem. <clears throat> Nylock, master of the utmost extremity of uplifting endings! And additionally... Nylock, dragon of being surrounded by many wonderful, incredibly, amazingly lovely friends! Sorry, I, I just didn't want to interrupt! No, no matter, killed master. In a rare occasion, this knight was caught off guard. But irregardless, the Dandy Alliance Plus and the many additional pluses have congregated at the fated meeting place. What a momentous occasion this is indeed! Is everyone really here? I hope I didn't keep you all waiting for too long. Oh, it was just an eternity of pleasant conversation we all had before you showed up. Truly outrageous. Before we start, Steph, do you want to share some words with everyone? Uh, oh, uh, I mean, I don't have anything prepared necessarily, but... You're the woman of the hour! Give us an impromptu speech! All right. I'll keep it short then. We haven't all gotten the chance to meet each other in person yet, but I hope that here, in Tome, this would be just as special of a place to be together. I invited all of you here, because each and every one of you, in your own way, worked hard during the Campaign of Champions. Whether you were a fellow entrant competing against me and my team, who fought just as hard, or who helped make the campaign a memorable and fun experience, or those whose lives we managed to touch, or those who helped us along the way of our journey to the end. All of you were an outstanding part of this whole experience, and you might not know to what extent, but I can assure you, each and every one of you helped me in a way that I'll never forget for the rest of my life. And I... I don't know what else to say other than just... Thank you. Now, the competition's been long since over, so I know this is way after the fact. But, I say it's high time we had ourselves an awesome theme song play in the background of our victory! Yes, finally! I've so been looking forward to this! Truly, this is the most fitting end to our greatest adventure yet! Well, don't keep us in suspense. Play it already. You heard him. Hit it. This is more than just a game. If you stand in our way, you got no one else to blame. We are more than just a team. Come and join. From 
afar Each and every one a star Coming from a different corner of the universe So we traverse the place To the place where our destinies await Overcoming every trial No matter what it takes yeah. Now we've got to make a stride Though all our goals may not be our lights No! This is not just any fight Cause if we want victory We gotta unite This is more than just a game If you stand in our way You got no one else to blame Cause we
Thanks so much for watching, everyone. This is not all there is to the story. If you want to see the true ending, you'll have to play the game for yourself and shoot for that 100% completion rate to unlock it. Pick up the Terrain of Magical Expertise RPG on Steam and other digital storefronts today. I hope you enjoy the game, and remember to battle on. Take care.